Assalamu alaikum viewers. Hello. I hope you all are doing well. Today we have a topic of writing a research or project assignment usually assigned by your college or university teacher. So the first thing is your research platform. Whether you go for the blog or research paper from a specific journal. I'll show you in the next step how to download a research paper from a specific journal. If you are going for research work, so I'll suggest you to go for Google Scholar or ResearchGate. These two are one of the best platform to download any research paper. I will show you in the next step how to go for it. So the first thing is that to understand your assignment requirement as per your teacher's instruction. To identify the assignment goal, deadline, length, specification and the most important thing is the formatting and submission method as well. I'll also discuss the formatting in the next slide. The second thing is select your topic, your suitability and your area of interest is very important for selecting your topic so before selecting your topic please do research again and again whether uh, you are interested in this topic or this is suitable for you or not so it will makes your work more efficient if you have more interest in uh, your selected topic the another thing is your research paper outline that what topics you want to cover, what topics you have to write in your research paper. This is one of the structure, uh, introduction and body section, heading, conclusion and referencing. This is one of the basic structure to do any assignment, whether it is a blog assignment, it is a topic assignment or it is a research work. Remember, the standard heading for writing your assignment is 12 and the font size of body section is 11 and the font style is Times New Roman. Now let's take a quick review of a documentation process uh, for any specific topic or research paper. Then in the last minute I will show you how to download any research paper from Google Scholar. Now let's move on our documentation process. For example, uh, this is my topic assignment and the topic name is Java Arrays. Now you see that I mentioned definition for Java Arrays, definition and contact. After that, you have a table of content mentioning your page number, your introduction, some components or if you have a type, syntax for Java Arrays. Now, what is basically the definition and context? You have to write more elaboration about uh, the definition than the working phenomena that how arrays work in Java. Then after that, add some illustration tables like this. Mention according to your topic. You will also use uh, this type of table to add more uh, description about your work basically it will justify your work uh, for your readers you can also add some model requirement again it's depend on your topic what topic you choose and uh, what topic you are going to do research and in the last uh, you close uh, your uh, document with references uh, for example uh, number one references and just paste whatever link or blog or research author you have and uh, if you are going for a specific research paper which I will show you how to download it from Google site so these are basically the heading uh, title or cover page table of content introduction statement of the problem because whenever you will go for any research paper so definitely it is addressing some problem then mathematical representation present by author and discuss your research methodology then future work what you want to like to do what you think that uh, you can improve this work uh, like this or like this just justify or uh, write your observations conclusion and the references now our last discussion topic is google scholar just 
search google scholar on google and you will find that site scholar.google.com once you click on that you will land on this google scholar page it's just like searching on the google database for example i want to search a game programming research paper once you click on that you will land on this main page you see on the left hand side you have a timeline I'll suggest you to go for most recent published papers. After setting your timeline, you will see so many research papers related to the game programming. The one which is mentioned in the PDF bracket form is only downloadable. Otherwise, the HTML block brackets will proceed to another site. Now see after clicking on that PDF, I have downloaded with this PDF form. And uh, after clicking on the HTML blog presses, it will switch to you another website. So I hope that today's lecture will really helpful for you in the future for writing your uh, research assignment. If you have any query, please write in the comment box. Inshallah, we'll see you in the next week. Thank you.